are the concrete blocks, they literally look like Lego blocks. They have the same uh, knobs on the top and they have little hollows below so that they lock into each other. So we actually call them Lego blocks. We have, we have a model of how this um, dam structure would look. In the bottom section here it would be 6 meters wide. It's 10 meters 50 high and then it, towards the top it narrows down. This opening here is only because I didn't have enough Lego blocks, so it's kind of... So this would represent half of the dam. The other one would come here to the side. This is 400 kilo, eh? each one. This is our system here. To be able to lift them. So this is going to be completely embedded in concrete. Then we have a knob sticking out here and we have a clutch system that we can poke in and we can lift the Lego block. excavated these steps here. On this side already we have removed the steps, so we have already the slope. And what remains now is to remove here on this inner shore also the steps and then the Lego block will, the Lego block dam will fill up this entire area. The liner that is on the floor and on the side shores, that has to be brought up against the Lego dam so that we have a continuous vessel to contain the water and we don't lose any water. And then when we extend the, the next section of the lake, then this liner is being removed. The blocks even there, potentially we have to remove them underwater because when this lake here is full of water, we go towards the next section, we don't want to empty this, we will pump the first from the first lake about half the water into the second one and then remove the Lego blocks so the water level will be still 5 meter or 6 meter higher than the remaining bottom ones that will be removed actually underwater. Of the test lake, it's about 100 meter here length, here it's about 130 meters on the outer shore and from here to here it's about 110 meters. The Lego block dam will be on either side here and here.